the outlaw lawmakers party who invited you another name for lawmakers who act as if they are above the law i.e the constitution outlaws how equivalent is outlaw to rebel the same or different a rebel may or may not be an outlaw, think Snowden or Assange. Or a rebel may indeed be an outlaw, think Mitch McConnell and the other 46 Republican senators who violated the constitutionally structured separation of the branches of government when they told the government of Iran not to take the president's treaty initiative to limit weapons development by Iran seriously. The name Tea Party refers to an act of rebellion, the Boston Tea Party. The slogan, taxation without representation is tyranny. That slogan referred to the British tax on tea. Important, right? It was the principle of the thing, with no right to a say in their own destiny as colonies, controlled by the English monarchy, required to house soldiers of the crown in their own houses, and being required to pay taxes, it was the principle of the thing. Those of the Republican Tea Party have rebelled against the Constitution of the USA. As the Constitution of the USA is the law against which all other laws are validated, by rebelling against the Constitution or by knowingly distorting its intent to save their own purposes, they rebel against the law. By rebelling against the law, they act as outlaws. If that doesn't seem to be true or significant, it's because you are used to being stepped on to the degree that you think this is all as it should be. They who call themselves the Tea Party have supported taxation without representation because they represent oligarchical interests and not their constituents. They support control of the economic destiny of America and the world, the concentration of wealth, and so control of the political process by an oligarchy, an alternative form of monarchy. The Tea Party Republicans have withheld or sought to withdraw support from humanitarian and developmental programs that would serve a favorable destiny for the USA and worked in service to an ethically approved, judicially sanctioned, and monomaniacal program of unbridled accumulation of power and wealth, winner take all, like a game of monopoly, abuse of capitalism, perverted capitalism. Does that make the Tea Party Republicans rebels, traitors, outlaws, people run by primitive subconscious motivations without intelligence? to the detriment of many to benefit a few and themselves, or just immature, adolescently rebellious, unable to tell the difference between for the good and for evil, that is, between good and evil. The answer casts a certain light on their use of the name Tea Party, doesn't it? And one of those descriptors rang true for you, maybe more than one. The Constitution of the USA was written to ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty. That's an exact quote. How's that been working out? Beware of adolescently rebellious, arrogant, or righteous lawmakers 
who serve the monarchy of oligarchy and its primitive power agenda. The price of liberty is eternal vigilance.